First, it's out into the countryside, and as a farmer, I know that there are really strong views on both sides in the debate about controlling badger populations. Yeah, the question is to cull or not to cull. Kate Bevan has been to see if there's another option. Badgers, a conservation success story. Since gaining protection by law, their numbers have increased dramatically from a low point in the 1960s and 70s. Unfortunately, as badgers have become more common, so have the incidences of a disease, one that can be spread between badgers and cattle. Bovine tuberculosis. Every year, up to 40,000 infected cattle are slaughtered, costing taxpayers around £90 million in government compensation payments. This problem is highly controversial and has pitted those who love badgers against farmers who want to protect their livestock. For farmers like myself, the conflict between badgers and cattle is not just financial, it's emotional too. If our animals have to be slaughtered following a positive TB test, then the loss to the business can be astronomical. In an attempt to control this disease, the government has recently announced plans to cull badgers in TB hotspots across England. But the Wildlife Trust in Gloucestershire believes that there is an alternative to culling one that will protect both the badgers and the livestock on their reserves. So, Gordon, this is your beautiful wildlife reserve here. Um, and you've got cattle grazing on it. What's the reason for that? Well, we need cattle if we're going to maintain the richness of the site. It's very rich in wildflowers, it's rich in insects, and in order to maintain it as a grassland, it needs to be grazed, and cattle are the best animals to do that for us. Are badgers then a bit of a problem for you? Well, this is an area where there is a very high population of badgers. There probably is a, a highest population probably anywhere in England, in Gloucestershire. So it must be a difficult position for you because you want to preserve the wildlife and yet you want to protect your cattle. Absolutely. We've had bovine TB in cattle on our nature reserves. Our graziers have had bovine TB. It is a problem. We're a wildlife trust. Therefore, we have a responsibility to try and contribute to finding an answer. Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust is one of the first organisations in the country to vaccinate their badgers against TB. But in order to do this, first they have to catch them. Pete Bradshaw has been priming the badgers to come into these humane traps. And last night, he caught the first one. Hi, darling. Whoa. Looks like a fairly new... Young adult, I think. Yeah, it doesn't look very old. And I suppose one of the problems is, is that looking at the badger now, we can't actually test whether or not it's got TB no. before vaccination. No, that's right. You'd have to go through a fairly lengthy procedure if you wanted to actually do that. So what we will do is, is basically just give it the vaccine and... Um, hope it's a healthy badger. Hope it's a healthy badger and then uh, let him go. Yeah. There we go. That's it. Good lad. Well okay. done. To make sure it doesn't get vaccinated if caught again, Pete marks the badger before releasing it. I'll just open up the door here. Mm-hmm. There you go, mate. And hopefully it will come <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, he said. Whoop. That's it, there you is. go. There you go. Good boy, which way are you going to go? Oh, there he goes. At the moment, Pete is only one of a handful of people in the country trained to administer the vaccine. And for farmers, it's an expensive process, with estimates of £4,000 per square kilometre to vaccinate all the badgers on their land. The National Farmers' Union fear the costs would just be too great. So for them, culling currently remains the best solution. For Gordon and the Wildlife Trust, however, their position is firmly on the side of vaccination. If it's a voluntary cull, we wouldn't uh, be part of that. But by vaccinating, we are actually taking a positive action. We're doing something rather than just standing in the background and saying no badger cull. Although the vaccination programme is in its early stages, these trials offer hope for farmers like myself who would like livestock and badgers to coexist without the fear of TB. 
Well, DEFRA say that they're currently consulting on their proposals and a final decision about culling is expected later in the autumn. Yeah, now we haven't got time to talk about the ins and outs of a very, very complicated situation, but we are going to be investigating the subject on Countryfile in the next couple of weeks. So lucky is here, see? Yeah.